Hey guys, it's Michael from Plant Academy, maker of awesome Primavera P6 courses, Primavera P6 project controls expert. And today I wanna to talk about one of these new features that we saw with version 20.12 recently released. We're gonna talk about assignment codes. Specifically, I wanna talk about assignment codes and how we can use them to replace cost accounts. Okay, do you use cost accounts? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but tell you what, if you're cost loading a schedule, you should be using cost accounts and maybe you never have. I have a feeling I know why you never have because they're so hard to use. They're really inflexible. They're, they were designed so that you set them up once for a whole database and you can't have different versions of them for different projects. So they, cost accounts are really inflexible. But now that we have this new construct in version 20.12 called the assignment code, I'm gonna show you how you can make different cost accounts, different versions of cost accounts for different projects. So you can make as many groups of cost accounts that you want, each one for a different project, and it becomes so easy and simple to do. You ready? Let's dive in. I'm showing you here a project that I'd use in my advanced P6 schedule building course. And this is a course where I teach you how to cost load a project from a fixed bid. And we use cost accounts. And I'm gonna show you what we do. We basically assign costs to every activity in the schedule, the work activity. So you can see all these activities here have a cost associated with them. And those costs are added here by a material resource. If you want the details of that, you can check out the course. But basically, I want you to understand that every activity has a cost. And when we total all of the costs up at the top here, they total the contract value. Now, I also broke out those costs by cost accounts. So let me show you what that looks like. I, in, under enterprise, in cost accounts, I set up all these different cost accounts so that we can track those costs and group them in the different cost buckets. Now this is kind of an estimating and, and cost um, management type of activity, but it's important to group these costs together because they sometimes get charged to these specific accounts on the cost side. And that's what cost accounts do for us. So these are all set up. And what I can do now is go to my resource assignments page and I would group all of these um, I would group all of these resource assignments by cost account. And then you can see I have the breakdown of all the costs in the project by cost account. This is the way you want to manage costs on your project. As I said, it's hard to do it with cost accounts because when I set these cost accounts up, they work for this project, but they may not work for the next project in my database and the next project in my database. So we're going to use assignment codes. That's right, so what are assignment codes? Really quickly, it's a new feature that you'll find in version 20.12, and you can find it here in the enterprise menu and go down to assignment codes. I did complain a little bit. I was like, don't we have enough codes? You know, we have project codes and three different kinds of activity codes and resource codes. Well, now we have assignment codes, but turns out that I'm a big fan now because this solves our cost account problem. So here's what I did. I created a new resource assignment code. I called it cost accounts for the project dash GWP. That's the name of my project. Created that. And then I assigned some of the cost accounts here. And you can see that I actually used a hierarchy to mimic my cost account structure exactly. Okay, so you'll see that this looks a lot like the cost account structure I had going on back there. Now I didn't put all of them in, I just wanted to put a few of them in just to show you. Um, on this project, I think I have over 100 cost accounts. I didn't want to take all the time to add them in here. Okay, here's the next step. I'm gonna show you how we can replace cost accounts with the resource codes. So what I've done is I've put my cost account column here, and now I have my cost account GWP, that's my resource assignment code. And all I can do, or all I would do basically is go through and let me find some of the ones that I have set up like B1-A. I would just replace it over here with a B1-A assignment code. And then do the same thing for B1.B. And, you know, as we get further down, you can see in 13 here, I've got a bunch. 
and we'll just assign that and then we can actually start to use like the fill down like this so let me do a couple just so you can see what that looks like there now let's go up and basically I want to replace my grouping Okay, so I want to regroup these guys, not by cost account, but show you that if we go to customize, let's group these now by cost account dash GWP, the assignment code, and make sure it's indented and the hierarchy is kind of set up there. And then you can see how the grouping works exactly the same as the cost account grouping would work. So this is going to make life a whole lot easier we're not going to have to fight with cost accounts anymore. Anytime you need to create a group of cost accounts, you can use assignment codes and say, create a new cost account grouping for a different project and assign them all there and still be able to apply them to the project that you're working on. So I think this is going to make life a whole lot simpler. That's a wrap for this video, but make sure you check out my next video where I'm going to show you how you can use Excel to import and export assignment codes as long as you're using an EPPM database. See you in the next video. I'm Michael. Take care.